Math Genie. In this video, I'll be explaining how to solve basic combination problems. In my last couple of videos, I've been talking about how to solve basic permutation problems and other permutation problems that appear frequently in math competitions. I know that a lot of students do tend to miss out on the difference between permutation and combinations because they seem so similar to each other. However, there is one big primary difference between them, and it's that with permutation, order does matter, while with combination, order does not matter. So be sure to keep that in your mind while I'm solving this problem so that you will definitely see the difference between permutation and combination. So let's look at the question. How many different sets of three books can be chosen from a shelf of 20? So before I get started with solving this problem, I want to introduce you guys with the combination formula. And as you guys can know, the ba we have learned the basic permutation formula, and that was n factorial all over n minus r factorial. And that was the basic formula for permutation, right? However, there is one small difference to this formula for you to create a combination formula. And that is, at the end, you have to add times r factorial. So that's the only difference between permutation and combination formula. So it's very important for you to know um, the difference between them so you don't get them mixed up. And as we know, there are several different notations that you can uh, write or use for combinations. And one of the most used one is n choose r. So this is the um, notation that you will see the most. This is also called the choose function. Um, so this n, of course, is talking about the total number of terms or total number of different um, items in the certain set. And this R is definitely talking about how many you're going to choose. So in this case, we know that N is definitely going to be 20 because there's a total of 20 books on the shelf. And R is going to represent 3 because you're choosing 3 out of 20. So this is the basic, and I would say this is the most basic thing that you have to know to solve any combination for problems unless you want to literally sit there and count how many different sets you can form. So literally, we are basically almost done because guess what? We just need to plug in the question into the formula, which we just did. We just found out what the variables are going to be equal to. So we basically do 20 choose 3, right? And what is this going to equal to? As I said, these two are basically the same thing. This is the more simpler notation, I would say. You just plug in anything that you need to plug into the formula. N factorial is going to be 20 factorial. And then again, be sure to add this R factorial, which is going to be, what are you going to choose? You're going to choose three. And 20 minus three factorial, which is going to be equal to 20 factorial, 3 factorial, 17 factorial. So a simpler way to remember, instead of remembering this whole formula, I would definitely just say, go ahead and just remember that if whatever number you put at the top here, and then it's more like if these two numbers basically add up to the top numbers, so that's like an easier way for me to remember. So if you do simplify this, and again, if you forgot what factorials are, for example, 5 factorial, 5 about that. Five factorial is going to be equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And please do not go back to 0 because this will then equal to 0. So it's kind of multiplying all the numbers before it, all the whole numbers before it, before the number 1. So same thing for 20 and 3 factorial and 17 factorial. This can be simplified to basically 20 times 19 times 18 times 3 times 2 because you know 17 factorial um, cancels out. And if you do simplify this, you can both simplify that, making this 3. 
you know, 60 times 19 is definitely going to be equal to 19 times 6, 4, 5, 1, 1, 1,140. So our total answer is going to be 1,140. That's going to be a number of different sets of three books you can choose from the shelf of 20. Please, please do not forget to divide by 3 factorial again. Thank you for seeing until the end of this video. Mass Genie.